Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, thanks. Pedro. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Flora. How are you today? Fine, teacher. What about you, Oscar? How are you today? Fine, teacher. Okay. Teacher, buenas noches. Yeah. Happy teacher. Happy day. Happy, Happy day, teacher. Happy day, teacher. You know, I feel really, really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, student. Okay, how are you, Sophie? Hello, teacher. Very well. And you? Okay, I'm really, really good. I'm glad to see you today. Okay, Stephanie, how are you today? Hi, hi. Hi, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Hi, teacher. Fine, thanks. Very, very fine. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. How are you, Lillian? Okay, Leticia, how are you? Fine, thank you. Hola. Teacher, Hola. good night. Good evening. Really good. Tanya, how are you today? Hi, teacher. Okay. Bye. <laughs> okay, really good, Tanya. Okay, students, um, thanks. You know, today is my day. But, you know, my best gift is all of you as students, right? <laughs> okay. Thank you, teacher. Thanks. You're welcome. Let's see, Stephanie, how are you today? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, that's good. I hope so. Rebecca, how are you today? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Okay, nice. Good. Fabricio, how are you today? My teacher, how are you? I'm good. Okay, nice. You, you, you look like a bukele, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. That's good. Okay, students, we're going to start with today's class. I hope you're ready. And we're going to continue with module yes. number three. Right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, today we're going to continue with module three. And the topic for today's class is what? Statement. Statement is the past of B. Okay, thank you. We're going to talk about the verb B again, but now in the past tense. Vamos a volver a hablar del verb to be, pero en el pasado. Yes, yeah, really good. Nice. Okay, let's see. Okay, we have today objectives. Somebody who have me to read it, please. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussion summer activity. Yeah, really good. Thank you, Stephanie. Nice. Okay, somebody else? Somebody. By the end of this class, Yep. You will develop skills in reading for main idea and detail. The, the, okay. no sé. Details. Details. Yeah, okay, thank you. Really good. Okay, students, basically, you have a really nice pronunciation, so that's important, you know, to practice. And now we're going to learn vocabulary for some more activities. And also, we are going to develop uh, some skill, for example, reading. Okay, let's get a start with today's class. We got useful words for this class, and we have weddings. What is this? Boda. Okay, nice. Boda. Ese sí se la saben facilísima, right? Okay, good. Wedding like this, right? Wedding. What about this one? Awful. Okay, awful. Okay, what does it mean in Spanish? 
como horrible. Ajá. Horrible. Horrible, horrible, ok, por aquí tal, pues así. Ok, mire, aquí nos falló acá el cálculo. Ok, horrible, así. Sabe algo terrible, mal. Ok, that's good. What about this one? Put up a tent. Tent. Poner una tienda de campaña o, o acampar, no sé. Levantar okay, una okay. tienda. Levantar una tienda, ok. When we're going to say this, uh, put up, es cuando establecemos un hogar temporal. Temporal. Put up. Put up a house in the forest. Podría ser. Ah, establece un hogar en el, en el, en el, ahí en el bosque. Podría ser solo de rocas. O it could be uh, for wood, right? De madera. Yes? Ok. Put up. Put up. Put up a tent. Ok, very good. Okay, we got it, these students. Okay. Uh, at the beginning of this class, I would like to ask you something really important. Uh, everybody finish the meter exam? Teacher. Yep. A mí solo eso me hizo falta de ese módulo, de esa actividad, quiero decir. Solo esta. Sí, teacher, no lo entendí. Si vamos a poner las, las palabritas que hacían falta, Hola, como preguntas. Ok, ok, very good. Ya vamos a... Uh, we're going to practice together, right? Don't worry, Stephanie. Ok. Ok, but the final exam? Yes. Yeah, yeah, ok. Uh, and the rest of the students? You finish everything? A mí, teacher, solo me hacen falta las, creo que los últimos dos puntos que me ha tocado trabajar y sinceramente en el trabajo estaba avanzando y no he logrado llegar a ese final, pero ya voy por el cuatro punto, perdón, cinco punto y fracción, no me recuerdo. Ah, ok, ok, ok. That's good, Stephanie. Uh, ya casi termina. Así que, uh, if you have a question, students, about that activity or the test or the midterm exam or the check knowledge, knowledge check, you can ask me to WhatsApp. Keep in mind, please. Yep. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay, that's okay, good. Teacher. Okay, okay, students. Teacher. Basically, we're going to practice our listening skill. Vamos a practicar nuestro listening. Esta habilidad de escuchar, que es muy genial. Así que, uh, we're going to talk about summer activities. Actividades de... Verano. Verano. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Ok, nice. A Leticia le entiendo bastante bien. Okay. ¿En serio? <risa> no, eso ha pagado él. El... <risa> yeah, I know. Pero no, sí, no. estoy okay. aquí, estoy aquí. Yeah, I know. Ok, students, uh, basically, we have this. Uh, ok, what we're going to do here, tenemos algunas actividades que se hacen en verano, pero vamos a escuchar un audio donde nos va a ir diciendo. For example, in the summer, go hiking, go swimming. Y acá vamos a ir identificando. ¿Sí? For example, acá va, tenemos unas opciones. Eh, a movie. What is a movie? Película. 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 A, a play. Un juego. Jugar. Juego. Jugar. Okay. okay. Eh, what about a class? Clase. Clase. Ok, a beautiful class. Yes. ¿Cómo? A beautiful una clase class. bonita. Yes. Ah, una linda okay. clase. Okay. English class. English beautiful class. A picnic. <laughs> a ah, un picnic. Yeah. Una comida así al aire libre. Yeah, ok. Fun. Divertido. Fotografías. Imágenes, fotografías. Hiking. Escalar. Escalar. Nadando. Nadando porque está en present present. ING, ajá. Ok, ok, nada. Ok, very good. Ok, that's good. 
eh, Stephanie, Ro, eh, Stephanie, porque está en, en what? Eh, present, present progressive. Ah, present progressive. Ok, very good. That's good. Ok. Ok, that's good. Me gusta ahí que ya tengan una idea about this. And then we have tennis. Tennis. Ah, yeah, yeah, tennis. Play tennis. Yeah, yeah. But, but the game, right? Pero el juego, no los zapatos. Ok, that's good. Old friends. Viejos yeah, amigos. Algunos amigos. Yeah. amigos. Voleibol. Yeah. Viejos amigos. Voleibol. 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 ¿Cómo así? Vamos a ver el listening. Eh, we're going to listen the audio. Let me see. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Very good. Okay, students. Module 3, right? Right now we are here. Statement with the pass of B. That's really simple for you. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Hi, everyone. In this class, we learned to form positive and negative statements. Additionally, okay, okay. We'll like this. the conversation, which illustrates how the video? topic is used. In a real life, yes, yeah. it is. Mm -hmm. so, so. Okay, okay, let's see. Más o menos. Sí, más o menos, no le escucho muy bien. Okay, more or less, okay, that's good. Let me see, students. Okay, I think it's this one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Now we share. Okay, give me a minute, students. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, we are in section four, uh, 12. Okay, we're gonna go section four. This one, summer activities. Okay. Okay, students. So right now, uh, we're gonna listen this audio, right? Vamos a escuchar este audio y vamos a ver qué se hace en cada situación. Así que, please, let's listen to this. Can you listen? No, teacher. No se oye. Go hiking. Right now? Go swimming. Oh, yes, it's better. Have okay. fun. Okay, we're going to start team. again. This class, hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing summer activities. Let's listen and practice. Summer activities. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take pictures. Now, let's put these vocabulary words into practice. Okay, students. Uh, did you listen to this audio? Yeah. Did you get yes. it? Yeah, it's clear. Okay, that's good. What about have? Have? Had a, had fun or had a picnic? Okay, no, let's picnic. go back to the slide presentation. We have this, we have this one. Go hiking, go swimming. Have, Stephanie, have fun and have a picnic. Have a picnic. Okay, very good. Congratulations, you did it good. Nice. Yeah. 
Okay, what about this one? Meet? Meet new people. Meet old people. New people. Or meet old people. Okay, let's see if it is right. Yeah, new people and old friends. Really good. Congratulations. What about this one? Play. 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 Tennis, volleyball, play, 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 why? Because a play is a play. A play. Un juego. Un juego. Sería como jugar o hacer. Okay. Remember. Ver un videojuego. More or less. No. Digamos, es ver un juego, pero digamos, está jugando fútbol, entonces es como un juego, un partido. Y eso es, está viendo usted un juego, así como en... No sé si estoy dando bien el ejemplo. Ok, ok. Thank you, Stephanie. Ok. Ok. Let's see. See a movie, right? See. You know, the action of use our eyes. See a movie. ¿Se recuerdan que les dije que cuando íbamos a ver una película o algo en YouTube o en algún dispositivo electrónico íbamos a utilizar? Watch. 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 En este caso se utiliza sí porque no especificamos dónde. Estamos hablando en general, right? General. Yeah. Pero acá, a movie, una peli. Pero a play, what is a play? Es como un juego, un partido. <laughs> ok. Yeah, a play, it's me. Pero es un juego que usted está viendo como, así como le te explicaba el ejemplo, digamos. Yo estoy viendo un partido de fútbol, o sea, un juego, pero yeah. no que yo estoy jugando, sino que un juego que yo estoy admirando. Oh, teacher, teacher. De básquetbol, no lo sé. Teacher, yo, yo entiendo que un juego es cualquier juego okay. que uno está viendo. Okay, okay. En general, en general. Dijo que para yeah. dispositivos electrónicos era watch. <laughs> yeah, really good. Okay, now let's start. Give me a minute. <laughs> okay, students, let's see. Eh, vamos a utilizar watch cuando hablamos en específico. I watch my computer, eh, my cell phone, and so on, right? Dispositivos electrónicos. Pero sí, eh, ver. Por ejemplo, ah, voy, eh, veo una película o una película, pero en general no, no estamos especificando dónde. Sí, a move. ¿Sí? Ok. Ok. Luego, a play, en este caso, play no va a significar juego. Sí, eso significa, pero otro meaning es una obra. <risa> ok. Es una obra. Ok. Una obra como cuando vamos al teatro. Yep. Ah. <laughs> okay. okay, it's clear right now. Right? Okay, you're ready. Okay, pero Stefan y Oscar, me gustó el punto de vista. Eh, es genial. O sea, también lo podemos utilizar así. Solo que en este caso, a play es una obra de teatro. Ok, muy bien. Uh, continue with this. Take. Take a picture. Yeah. Take a class. Take a class. Take a class. Or take a picture. Take a class. Take pictures. Ok. Uh, do you remember that we were, when we were talking about transportation, right? We talk about uh, when we take bus, take a the taxi, bus, the taxi, yeah, and so on. And we can say take a class. Yep. También pueden decir ah tomo una clase, tomo like this. Take. And also take pictures. You know, with my phone, take pictures like this. Yep. Yes. Okay, teacher. Okay, very good. The students, amazing. 
Veo que el listening skill is a piece of cake for you. That's really, really nice. Okay, continue with this. Now it's time for readings. Ahora es tiempo de lectura. Veamos, what's happened on weekend stories, right? Okay, let's see. Okay, yeah, we have time. Okay, somebody help me to read the first one. What Kelly said about herself. The first one, somebody who helped me to read it. No, guys. Yeah. Oh, I can't read it. Yeah, Flor. Me, teacher. Okay, okay, go ahead, Flor. Thank you. The read, the read, um, when a class, fun, kicking, a movie, new people, okay. old friends. A picnic, okay. picture, a okay. play, swimming, tennis, and volleyball. Volleyball. Thank you, Flor. <clears throat> really good. Okay, students, like this is the right pronunciation of all of this word. But now we are going to continue with, we're going to jump to the listening, to the readings, readings, readings. Yep. Yeah? Okay, very good. Okay. Now, uh, Flor, can you help me to read the first one about Kelly? Mm. Yep. Okay, escoja alguien. This one, read this one. All of this. Me ayuda a leer todo, todo, todo. Ah, yeah. que lo lea otra vez. Yeah, sure. But in English. Okay, perdón, perdón. Eh, a class. Fun, hiking, yeah. a movie, new people, old okay. friends, a okay. picnic. Okay, very good. Thank you, Flor. But, okay. Flor, eh, sí. now we're going to jump to the readings. Vamos a saltar a las lecturas eh, con Kelly, con Kelly. Todo lo que dice acerca de Kelly en la lectura. No sé si pueden ver la slide. Yes? No. 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 No, usted la misma. Okay, I'm sorry, Kelly. I'm sorry, uh, Flor. Vamos a ok, teacher. Okay. Ya se me hacía entrar. Oh, no. ¿Ahora sí? No. no. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Okay, let me see. What about now? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I don't hey. know why. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, now my computer, you know, is playing me a game. La computadora <laughs> me está ahí haciendo unas cuestiones. Okay, that's good. A floor. Can you tell me to okay. read about Kelly? Kelly. Okay. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend. Helen's with wedding. Yep. She got married, married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic, fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents um, served. A wonderful meal, meal, meal. Yeah. I am really happy for her, okay. and I really like her hand, husband, husband, husband. Okay. Thank you, Flor. Really good. Okay, Flor. Congratulations, you did it good. And I'm sorry. Uh, solo yo estaba viendo las slide presentations, uh, so that's why. We were in two universes, right? Estamos en dos universos paralelos. But let's continue with this. Okay, veamos what Robert said about his history. Okay, somebody who helped me to read it? Me, teacher. Teacher. Okay, Stephanie, Stephanie. Ladies first and with Fredo, Erin. Okay. Uh, okay. Robert, I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I have a terrible time. 
It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert, an end or car broke down. I called my parents. I they came and got up. We finally got home and ten this morning. I am so tired. Okay, okay, really nice. Thank you, Stephanie. Really good. Okay, Stephanie came. Came. Yeah, and called. Called, not called. Oh, called. With D, with D at the end, called. Called. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's good. Uh, broke. Broke. This one? And did. Yeah, yeah, and did. Todas las que terminan con D y con T van a sonar ir. And did. Very good. Okay, let me see. Da, 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 da. Yeah, very good. Thank you, Stephanie. Okay, Wilfredo, continue with the reading. I had an interesting weekend. Yeah. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Sunday, on Saturday, yeah. and drove to the campsite. 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 Yep. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked cook dinner, mm, yeah. and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went finish a camp of a caught a fish. I I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you, Wilfredo. But 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 but, but. okay <clears throat> be careful with this word but but it means pero pero también si ustedes lo dicen muy fuerte eh, but like this también significa eh, glúteos ¿Cómo? glúteos yeah, yeah, it's con double T, yeah. <laughs> okay, pero la pronunciación es similar, but es más fuerte, es, es, son glúteos. No, no es una mala palabra, pero para que no digamos glúteo en lugar de pero, but, okay, okay, that's good. <laughs> eh, this one, <laughs> learned. 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 Yeah, very good. Thank you, Wilfredo. Okay, students. Now we're gonna focus on the first readings, the first readings, and we're gonna find the verb in the past tense. Vamos a encontrar los verbos en el tiempo past. Right? Okay. Comencemos. Had. 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 Very when. good. Had. When, 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 nice. Got, got, okay, got, 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 got um, when, Mary, Mary, when, when, okay, Mary, very good. Uh -huh. Look at, when, look, look at, okay, look at, look at, war, war, very good. Serve, 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 okay, serve, serve, serve. Nothing more. Okay, okay, that's it. That's it. Okay, very good. Now that you find the verbs in the past tense, we're going to figure it out in Spanish, right? Okay, what does it mean? Had. Tener. Un oh, grandioso fin de un semana. Un grandioso fin de semana. Genial. Okay, nice. okay, luego. Yo, Yo fui, fui con mis amigos. Mi mejor amiga, 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 mejor amiga. La boda de mi mejor amiga Helen. Yeah, very good. Thank you, Stephanie. Okay, what happened with her? She. Ella se casó. Se sí, casó. Se casó. En su casa. En casa. En casa. En casa. Yeah, very good. 
Todos sus amigos y familia fueron. Amigos y familias fueron. Ella se miraba fantástica. Ella. Ella usaba un hermoso vestido. Antes de la ceremonia, sus padres sirvieron un maravilloso refrigerio o banquete, no sé qué sea. Comida, comida, banquete. Comida. Yo realmente estoy feliz por ella. Y, y, yo, y realmente me gusta ese esposo. Me agrada. Me agrada. Ok, that's normal. Don't worry. Very good. Ok, uh, students, let's see. Like, muchas veces, la mayor parte del tiempo, when I use it, like, uh, me gusta. Pero también es me encanta. Me agrada. Me agrada. Okay. I really like her husband. Me agrada su esposa. Okay. okay. Me gusta. Me gusta. Me gusta. Me gusta. Eso es lo que dice el inglés. Pues si ustedes dicen algo y es para beneficio, ustedes pueden decir, ah, ok, it's ok, no por. Sí. Si es negativo, ah, no, no quise decir eso. Ok. Okay, 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 continue with Robert. Find the verb in the past. Had. Yo tuve un fin de semana horrible. Horrible, horrible. 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 Yo tuve un horrible momento, un momento horrible. Ay, su... Se tomó tres horas maneja, manejar ahí. Tuve que manejar tres horas. No me gustó. No me gustó. Me gustó ir manejando. No me gustó la música. No me gustó toda la música. Y después del concierto. Y después del concierto. concierto. Nuestro carro, carro yeah. se, se quebró o se, se rompió. Se, 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 se rompió. 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 Okay, students, basically all of you will uh, translate in Spanish this um, story, and that's amazing, really good. Okay, now you're going to repeat after me. Had. 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 Okay, okay. okay. Went. 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 Okay, took. 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 Okay. And this one. At all. At all. All. At, at all. all. At 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 all. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Veamos algo, chicos. When you find at all at the end of a sentence, all the time you're gonna use it or find it with negative. Casi siempre este at all lo vamos a encontrar cuando hay una forma negativa en el tiempo que sea. ¿Sí? ¿Qué significa at all? Que con todo le disgusta. Todo. Por completo. Por ejemplo, aquí dice: I didn't like the music at all. No me agradó para nada la música. No me nada en lo absoluto. Mira, Ricky, thank you, Carlos. En lo absoluto no me gustó nada. 
Okay, that's good. Very nice. At all. Keep in mind. Very good. Okay, students, uh, continue with this one. We're going to find the verb in the past tense. Go ahead. Uh, had. 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 Acampar por el primera vez. A, la prim a primera por hora. Primera por... Ah, no, por primera vez. Mis yeah. amigos. Mis amigos. Me llevaron, mis amigos. Me llevaron, ajá, o me tomaron. Ok, me llevaron, me llevaron. Ahí se me llevaron. llevaron. <risa> <risa> el sábado, el sábado. Nos fuimos el sábado. Nos fuimos el sábado, Willem. Ok, ok, vamos a pararnos acá. Este left, students, eh, for example, cuando ustedes dicen, eh, teacher, me tengo que ir, okay, eh, decimos, teacher, I have to leave, leave, right? Okay. Se lo voy a escribir acá en el chat. I have to leave. Ok, like this. I have to leave. Ese verbo es como... Marcarse. Retirarse. Retirarse, irse. Entonces el pasado del día es... Left. Left. En este caso no va a ser... Nosotros salimos. Ya, nosotros salimos o no fuimos. Estaba. Ya. Y... Maneje, manejamos. Word. Manejamos. Por el campo. El campo. El, el campamento. Yeah. Para el, el campamento. Ok, ok, very good. Manejamos el campamento. Yeah. Primero, Primero pusimos la tienda de campaña. Yeah. Levantamos la tienda de campaña. Yeah. Luego. Hicimos un fuego. Hicimos fuego. Hicimos papas. Cocinamos cena. Cocinamos la 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 cena y contamos historias. Hicimos historias. Okay. Nosotros nos... nos levantamos temprano el domingo y fuimos a pescar. Yeah. Y eh, atrapamos pescados o agarramos pescados. Pescamos. Yo atrapé. Pez, pez. Atrapé. Atrapé un pez. Atrapé un pez. Atrapé un pez. Uh, y... y realmente no me gusta. Acampar. No me gusta acampar, acampar. Pero aprendí mucho. Mucho. Very good. Thank you, Carlos. Really nice. Ok, students. Basically, uh, this story is what's really interesting, right? Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. In Interesante. Okay. Interesante. Really nice. I don't know if you have a question about this. A word that you don't understand. I don't know. Something. An expression. No, teacher. Okay. ¿Qué dijimos que significaba put up them? Levantar una tienda. Levantar una tienda. Levantar un, un refugio, un hogar temporal. Yeah. Un hogar temporal. Vale. En este caso estamos hablando de las ten. De la tienda de campaña o de camping. Yeah, good. Really good, students. You are really smart. Okay, we are going to continue with this. And now we have this. Pueden ver las slide presentations? Simple, fast, yes, no question? Yeah. Yes. Okay, students. Uh, basically, we have um, some questions about something. Uh, in this case, we're going to talk about summer and some sports. For example, we have the first one. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, let me see. Okay. Lilian, can you ask me the first one, please? Tú tienes uno. Tuviste un buen verano? Yeah, very good, Lillian, but now in English, please. <laughs> did, you did you have a good summer? Okay, really nice. Thank you, Lillian. 
Okay, notice this, students. Did you have a good summer? What is in the past? The verb of the auxiliary. Did. Uh, the auxiliary. Did, yeah, very good. Did. The auxiliary did. Okay, what happened here? Cuando hacemos una pregunta, básicamente solo agregamos. Did. 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 El auxiliar. Did. El auxiliar did. ¿Por qué? Porque no hay verbo to be. Yeah. Okay. Y el verbo queda. En presente. Yeah, present. normal, right? Infinity and present tense. Very good. Did you have a good summer? Como Lilian lo dijo, tienes, eh, tuviste un verano. Buen, buen verano. Buen verano. Buen verano. Yeah, really good. Eh, as I said before, when somebody asks you with did, you have to answer with? Did. Did. Yes, did. yes. 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 yes I did. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Plus the compliments, right? Okay, very good. Uh, let's see this one. Did you play volleyball? Okay. Volleyball. Yeah, volleyball. Right. No. Yeah. I didn't. No, I didn't. I, I played, played, I played I tennis. Played tennis. Okay, very good. Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, really good. But what about this one? Did, did Erika like her vacation? vacation. Okay, okay. okay, remember. Vacation. Vacation. Vacation or vacation? Vacation. Vacation. Okay, the answer? Yes, she liked a lot. That's really good. And the last one. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? Erica and her sister go to Colorado. Yeah, what happened? Yes or no? No, they did. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Okay, very nice. Good. Okay, students, continue with this one. Uh, we're gonna find the formula here, right? We have did plus subject plus verb in the present plus a complement. And also at the end, you have to add the question mark, right? Okay, for example, did is the auxiliary, you, the subject, have verb in the present, a good summer complement plus a question mark. Possible answer, yes, I did, no, I didn't. Yes, I did it. positive, negative, didn't. Didn't. Yeah, or yeah. did not. Okay, very good. Okay, we're gonna focus on this. Vamos a concentrarnos en esto. Eh, what happened cuando si hay un verbo to be? ¿Qué pasa cuando si hay un verbo to be? Y queremos formular una pregunta. Divierte. El verbo va adelante. Divierte. Yeah, very good. This. Switch. I was. Okay, okay. I was. I was. I was born in the Korea. Okay, okay. Very good, Oscar. But in this case. Naciste en Korea? Yeah, yeah. Do you? Si nací, ay, yo nací. No, naciste en Corea. Yo nací en Corea. Yo nací en Corea. Sí, yo nací en Correcto. Ok, let's see. La respuesta. Ok, para que no nos confundamos, chicos, es like this. We are in the past tense. Estamos en el verbo pasado. Tiempo pasado. Right? Simple. Right. So, we have the auxiliary verb did. And the main verb be, que es was y were. Cuando esté was y were, vamos a utilizar, que lo vamos a... Invertir. Yeah, very good. Lo vamos a invertir. Pero si no hay verbo to be, tenemos que utilizar el... Yeah. El did. did. Porque es el auxiliar. Let's see the slide presentation again. Okay. 
video. Ok, let's see this. Veamos aquí. Imagine que este did no existe ni este question mark. Y se solo dice, you had a good summer. Had. Tú tuviste un... Un buen verano. Muy bien. Para formular esa pregunta, como no hay verbo to be, ponemos... Deal. 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 Estamos hablando Deal. de... Deal. Has. Yeah. Ok. ¿Y el verbo pasa? Presente. Presente. Really good. Thank you, Lilia. Ok. But what happened when we have the verb be in the past tense? What word? Ok. Yep. Tenemos que invertirlo. Tenemos que invertirlo. Por ejemplo, acá. Okay. 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 ok, ok, very good, like this. Veamos aquí un ejemplo muy eh, fácil. Vamos a tomar she, porque I, eh, it's a kind of weird if we ask ourselves. Es un poco raro si nos preguntamos a nosotros mismos, right? Así que vamos a tomar el ejemplo de she. She was 17. She was 17. Yep. ¿Cómo formularíamos esta pregunta? Was she, was she 17? Yeah, yeah, really good. Was she 17? Was she in the interrogation, ¿verdad? Yeah. Aquí es oración y luego solo chain. Switch is word. Switch the position. The position of the verb be. Okay. okay, let's see an example, students. Okay, tenemos un ejemplo acá. Veamos, the first one it says. Okay, somebody to help me to was, I was born in Korea. In Korea, very good. Okay, the second one. You, you were, were pretty young. Yeah, really good. Okay, student, let's see something important here. In present, we have the verb be. Tenemos tres. ¿Cuál es era? Um, are he, and is. Yeah, um, are and is. Yeah, free, right? Um, is, are, whatever. Are. Okay. okay, entonces, in the past, we're going to find was and were. Was and were. ¿Qué significa esto? Cero. Um, Pero en. Asado. Asado. Entonces, como diría. Yo nací, yo, yo nací, yo nací en, Corea. en Corea. Ok, ok, yo nací en Corea. Ok. Recuerden, the verb be, cero estar en pasado. Fui o estuve. Fui. Yo estuve en Corea. Yeah, really good. Sí. Yeah, like this. It's okay. Yo estuve o oh, en Corea, si dijera solo esto, pero como acá tenemos born, ¿qué diría entonces? Yo nací. Yo nací en Corea. Yeah, really nice. Yo nací en Corea. Se escucha raro, pero sí se dice. Very good. Sí, sí. Raro, raro. Yeah, okay. That's good. Continue with this one. In Spanish. Tú fuiste una ¿Tú fuiste bella un joven? joven. Bonita. Tú fuiste un bello joven. Fuiste bonita joven o tú joven fuiste bonita, no sé. Okay. Okay, fuiste como... bonita joven? Yeah, ok. That sounds like a question. Tiene que ser una oración. <laughs> ok. Acá no tiene que sonar como pregunta, es... Tú eras... Tú eras... Tú eras un joven apuesto. Tú eres... Tú eras un joven bonita. Eres una joven apuesta, muy bien, muy really bien. Estamos afirmando, afirmando, o bonita, afirmando. Si fuera la pregunta, muy bien, como lo dijo Carlos, pero cambiaríamos esto. ¿Cómo diría? Were you... Pretty young. Yeah, pretty young. Like this, really good. Okay, and what about this example? 
Nosotros nacimos en el mismo año. Ok, thank you. But now in English. We were, we were born, 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 born in the same day. Yeah. yeah, what about this one? They were. Ellos they estuvieron were in Corea en 1998. They were in Korea in 1988. Ok, ok, very good. Ok, notice students que antes del 2000, del 2000 hacia abajo, we're going to use. One five los números, los números en pares. Uh -huh. Estamos 1998. 1998. 1998. Okay. But, if we're talking about Espérame. after 2000, después del 2000, vamos a decirlo completo. Todo, completo. Todo. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, nací en el 2005. It's an example, right? 2005. 1999. Okay, no, este no. me gusta. Okay, students, continue with this. Sé que es un poco, you know, kind of confused, but we're gonna learn this. Now we're gonna see the negative way, right? Wasn't, weren't, wasn't, and weren't. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Solo agregamos. Not. 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 Was not. Wasn't. We're not. We're not. I was not. Wasn't. We're not. Weren't. Wasn't. Weren't. Very good. Okay, repeat please after me. Wasn't. 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 You can use whatever you want. A contraction for or normal, right? Okay, it's clear. It's clear. Yeah, it's clear. Yeah, okay, that's good. Like a Coca Cola, but nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Uh, remember that we're gonna learn by the step. Okay, students, right now we have a conversation that we're gonna call it I born in Korea, right? Uh, okay, let's see. I need somebody to help me to read this conversation. A couple. Me, teacher. Okay, no, Reina. Teacher. Okay, Reina and Lilia. Very good. Okay, Reina, you will be Chuck, and Lilia, you will be Melissa. Go ahead. Uh, where? Where? You wrong, Melissa? Yep. <laughs> I was born in Korea. No. So you weren't born in the US. No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were very young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English was very good. So I took English class for two years first. Well, your English is very really good now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Your English is very good too. Yeah, but I was here. Okay, very nice. Amazing students, ladies. Really good, really good. Okay, as you notice, students, uh, we have past tense with the verb be, where it sounds similar to this one, right, Reina? So, and I was, where, Yes. Where, where? It sounds like, uh, you know, uh, the singer, how do you say, Rihanna, right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. Were, were, were. were. Suena similar. Suena similar. Where were? Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Nací en Corea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. ¿Qué dice acá? Oh, entonces... Tú no naciste en Estados Unidos. Ok, muy bien. Y luego especifica cuando vino a eso. All right. Ok, students. Eh, I need a couple. Necesito otra parejita. Teacher. Ok. Teacher. Ok, Stephanie and Stephanie. <laughs> Ok, Stephanie Ro, eh, Rosales, ¿no? Right. Yeah, ok, you will be Chuck and Stephanie Melissa. Go ahead. <coughs> Where were you born, Melissa? Okay. I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the United States? No, I came here in 1999. Um, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English class for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pre pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay, really nice. Thank you, ladies. Yeah, congratulations. Okay. Las ladies nos están ganando, chicos. I don't know what's happened there. <laughs> okay, now, gentlemen, please. Gentlemen, who want to practice this conversation? Okay, Wilfredo, very good. Somebody else. Hey, teacher. Okay, Fabricio, very good. Yo pensé que Leti iba a ser. Okay, okay. Wilfredo and Fabricio. Okay, Wilfredo, you will be Chuck. And Fabricio, you will be Fabricio, right, with this. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Where were you born, Fabricio? I was, I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, good. I was born here. Okay, really nice gentlemen. Really good job. Okay, chicos. Ahí. Sacaron. You know, your chest. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, students. I don't know if you have a question. Questions? No question. No, teacher. Okay. No. Everything is clear. Okay, really nice. Okay, students, let's see. Uh, we're gonna have this week, you know, three more classes, right? And I'm gonna try to, you know, to give clear ideas about this. Unfortunately, time is, you know, short for us. El tiempo es sumamente corto. Es una, solo es una hora, eh, pero eh, practicamos mucho, eso es genial. Eh, the verb be in the past es, hay que irlo practicando, ya sabemos que es fui o estuve, estamos hablando del pasado. Y si no hay verbo to be y queremos formular pregunta es did. Yeah. Muy bien. Eh, si queremos agregar una WH word, Solo la agregamos para especificar algo que queremos saber y vamos a poner si es did o si vamos a utilizar the verb be in the past. Ok, Estefan, de ahí la... la okay. Yo pensé que era la policía que había llegado. Ok, ok. My daughter teacher. Oh, really nice. Ok, enjoy your daughter. That's amazing. Ok. Ok, let's see students. Uh, 
Vamos a tener estas tres clases más para finalizar este módulo. Espero ya hayan terminado el final test. <laughs> okay, that's good, that's good. Si no, you can ask me to WhatsApp. I'm going to be there in order to help you. And that's it for today, class. I don't know if you have questions. No questions? No, no question, teacher. No okay. question, teacher. Thank you. Okay, I'm glad to see you today, students. That's an amazing group. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.